Hi, Noah. Hi, Noah. Deidre and Eric. Hi. Good morning. How are you two? We are. We are great. great. We're awesome. <laughs> it is so great to be here with you guys this morning. So let's go ahead and get started. You know, Days of Our Lives, it turned 55 on November the 8th. It first premiered as a half hour drama in 1965 and expanded to an hour 10 years later. But how does it feel to see a show still running in progress this long on cable TV, Deidre? And what's really been the icing on the cake for you? I think we've been on so long. Thanks, Noah, for that. Uh, uh, um, I think we've been on so long because we are contemporary. Ken Corday, our showrunner, is, is fond of saying we need three elements. We need a young love story. Uh, we need multi-generational households. And we need a contemporary storyline. And we tick all those boxes every single time. You know, I must say this show has garnered 58 Emmy Awards, including the most recently 2018 Outstanding Daytime Drama. Listen to this, you guys, 372 nominations. What? As well as multiple People Choice Awards, the Glad Media Awards, and uh, Prism Awards. The list really continues for this show. But Eric, take us back to the day where you first joined the Days of Our Lives family. And how has this show changed your life and your acting career? Wow. Well, the, the, yeah, this has encompassed the biggest chunk of my career, and I'm 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 proud to to be a part of this family. I call it a family. I don't use that word lightly. Yeah. My first day was with this young lady right here, oh. and I, I literally walked through the doorway, and she embraced me, said, "Brady, you're home," and I will never forget that. It 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 was so welcoming. It was it was just honest and. I drove home that day, I remember, and I just looked at my wife and I said, oh, I wanna be here for a while. <gasps> I, I did, I said, I said, baby, I, there's something special about that place. There's something historic, yet familiar. It, it's just, it's a beautiful place to work. I mean, you've, you've been here for how many years? 40. For, you, you don't leave yeah. a job that you don't love. You don't stay with it for that amount of time if you don't love it, so. I'm I'm in I'm in love with this place that that the Corday family has constructed and that our cast has has made. It's just beautiful. Yeah, I'm getting emotional. I, I'm I I'm am getting too emotional. Loud. I gotta oh, save wow. that for I gotta perform Until later. You say Where's that the tissues? Oh, hold on. Yeah, the <laughs> tissues. I gotta act later. I gotta save some of this. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, you know, Deidre, you know, you have been with Days of Our Lives um, and you've played your character for, you know, 40 years and your own words now. What have you enjoyed about really being able to see the storyline evolve and change throughout the years to keep the audiences coming back, you know, watching every single weekday on NBC? You know, I was I was saying to Eric earlier, we, we have had so many firsts on the show. And uh, one of those firsts was the first crib death ever done. Uh, on, on any sort of medium, mm -hmm. and uh, I know there was a, there was an enormous uh, 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 meeting of minds upstairs at production office among the producers, saying, "Do we foreshadow this? Do we tell the audience, careful here, careful, warning, 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 careful, there's something really hard coming up." Mm -hmm. And they ultimately decided to let it happen in real time, so the people that had gone through that shattering moment would would see it in, 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 in terms of the way they saw it, but also the people that had never been through it would, would see Marlena walk in, look in that crib and find that baby. And uh, we had so much mail, they decided to play it in real time. So much mail saying, oh my gosh, uh, from people that had been through that terrible loss. Uh, people writing and saying, you know, I, it, it happened to me, it happened to me. And I, I, I called my husband, I said, you've got to come home. We've got to watch this thing together um, because it's a story of survival and life experience. And we share that completely with the fans. Noah, we get these stories quite frequently about people who are going through hardships of their own or whether they're in the hospital for an extended period of time and they'll look you in the eyes and say, I just want to say thank you because if it wasn't for your show at one o'clock, that was the one thing I looked forward to after being you know, prodded with needles or just in tests and things. And, and 
you know, we for, I think we forget. We forget how important soaps are yeah. to people sometimes. Yeah. We come to our studio, we do our little play, and then we go home. But it's important. People count on on us. So, especially now uh, with COVID, when people can't be with their families now. and they oh, yeah, can't absolutely. Travel. You know, I like that you mentioned that, Eric, and how you guys get the messages from the fans of how the show has changed their life or how it's helped them through tough times. And I know as an actor and actress, that has to make you guys feel so good to know that you're putting out content. You're, you know, you're creating this show that is actually making someone else's day. I mean, that has to be the best feeling, right? Well, we hear it all the time, and that's why we're doing this virtual fan event. Yeah, we got a little surprise for the fans. Uh, we are not canceling our annual fan event that we have every year. We're doing it virtually. It's going to be on November 21st. It's going to be filled with hours of footage of us backstage doing tours. We're, we're even going to get to see Deidre's home, I think. Back porch. Yeah, I, you I get to my house. I can't wait. To, I'm going to be tuning in. I want to see your back porch. <laughs> I want to sit and on the back porch and have lemonade. We got Q&A from the fans and questions answered and panels. It's, it's going to be spectacular. Just a bunch of fun stuff. So you can go oh on our goodness. Facebook. It's going to be fantastic. I can't wait. Yeah. Exciting. All right, guys. Well, we have ran out of time, but it is so great to get to meet you guys. And I really have loved watching the show over the years as well. Everyone now can catch Days of Our Lives. They can check their local listings on their local stations, but you can catch it Monday through Fridays on NBC. Deidre and Eric, you guys have a great week and thank you for the time. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Noah. Thank you, Noah. Thank appreciate you. Bye-bye.